Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Figma's treasures, best resources that you can find there. UI kits, illustrations, icons, anything. You know you cannot find anything in Figma, right? So before I get to the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it, leave a comment, follow my Instagram and share this to your friend. First thing that I'm gonna talk about is Untitled UI. Untitled UI is not actually free, but there's a free version that well is kind of useful in Figma community. What you get in the free version is like a lot of dashboard components, landing page components, everything that would make your life a lot easier. They have a lot of styles, a lot of components. It's really easy to use. So if you've used the free one in Figma and then you thought that it would be useful for you in the future, just go ahead to their website and download the full version because it's going to make your life a lot easier another amazing resource that you can find in figma is vector character illustration so there are a lot of characters doing so many different stuff that could be used in landing pages support page i don't know contact us you can use these illustrations all over your designs but keep that in mind that you can find anything like any 3d 2d illustrations there so this is not the only one this is just a really good one that you can use Another thing is Flamingo Design System. They've actually shared their design system as an open source in Figma. So you can use it. It's really easy to use. Go check it out. I put all of these links in the description. Another thing that like is really big is Radius Design Kit. So basically it has everything. It's a great design kit. It includes a set of foundational elements like styles, typography, spacing, breakpoints, and like a lot of components and icons. So again, it's another thing that you can use to really speed up your design. <laughs> So GitLab's actually shared their component library on Figma and it's like an amazing library that you can use again for your designs. Also, you can like check all the design guidelines, design system and everything on their website. Again, another kit that is like really useful is ExoKit. The reason that I'm like introducing you to all of these different resources, different files of design systems and libraries and UI kits is that you can go over them and find the perfect one that goes with your style and use them in your design. So ExoKit is actually a great one of those. It's really easy to use and I put a link in the description. Another thing that is like there and it's really useful is templatory so you can just use this one for your presentations because like i think they have 10 to 12 different crafted slides in each template and like you can use them to showcase anything you want just go there and copy and paste it i guess Ooh. There is this huge library called Figma Charts Infographic UI Kit. So basically, any type of charts and infographic that you need in your work, it's there. It's already there. You don't have to design it from scratch. Just go and use it. There is a premium version that I think you have to pay for it because there's not much that you can edit with the free ones but again it's a great catch and like really useful if you have a lot of works with charts another great ui kit is airtable blocks in airtable blocks you can have access to the, again text styles colors buttons icons and everything the only thing that is like it has a really complicated auto layout but you're gonna get the hang of it. Don't let that stop you from using it. It's really awesome. It has a lot of components and really easy to use except for the auto layout part. Another one is UX templates. It's really awesome and I'm gonna tell you why. Here you can get access to like user personas, user journeys, user survey, user interview, and like all of this UX templates that you're gonna be definitely needing in your next or current project. Just click in the link in the description and use this great one to just expand your UX skills and actually save a lot of time because it's ready templates and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. There's another one kind of similar to the last one called 
journey map. In the journey map, you can like get mini user personas you can start with user flow elements by working with them and you can go like deeper in the details additionally you can play around with the color palette and make ideal user journey map for the project you're working on this is like really beautiful and it's gonna make your user journey a lot better easier to make and like it's gonna look great so if you want to pitch it it's like amazing for you in this video, I'm not going to talk about icons. You're just going to search icons there and find some great things because you really have to find the icons based on your, well, design style. But there were some icons that I found recently. They're not on Figma. You can get them from their website. I can make a video of that if you want. And yeah, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel leave a comment share this video if you liked it and follow my instagram that's it for today see you on the next video bye